I suppose, yes, it must have been 76 I started listening. I remember listening to Ramones quite a lot. And I remember thinking, this is quite exciting. And I thought, I'd, I'll start my own punk band. So I did. When I went to university, 1977, with Paul Whitehouse, called the Right Hand Lovers, rather embarrassingly. Peely's always played crap. And I, I can't honestly believe that he's enjoyed a lot of it. He must have hated a lot of it. But it was always entertaining, and I remember we played Nevermind the Bollocks in its entirety. Uh, even the band God Save the Queen, which was my favourite song at the time, so uh, I was, um, yeah, that was good, very impressed. I am an anti Once our punk band had collapsed in ruins, I found I'd quite enjoyed being in the band. And so we started another one, which eventually became the Higgs. A strange little forgotten niche. Probably because we were shit. I think the main attraction to the start of the Higsons for John Peel was geographical. Because we were in Norwich, we were relatively close to where John Peel lived, and so he kind of championed us. He picked up on our first single, and then he gave us a session quite soon after that. We thought that was it, we were on the way to the big time. We were going to be huge international stars. But all it led to was a string of other Peel sessions, which was very nice. It used basically that is what kept us going was the money we made from, do from doing Peel sessions. Oh yeah, they paid. And to a young person who could live on chips, it would keep you going for a while. Our first single was one minute fifty, and then we were starting to do sort of three or four minute long, and it was it was epics. And we did the session we thought was very good. And after one track, he said. I don't know, it seems to me that like the tracks are getting far too long these days. He, and, he, and he sort of backtracked, said, oh, I'm not trying to have a go at the Higgs, but he was. <laughs> and he was right. I don't think you had to be an avid listener of John Peel to appreciate him. I think he's, uh, the genius of him, as far as I was concerned, is that you knew that somewhere, somewhere he was challenging Radio 1's accepted playlist, even though you might not want to hear it, at least there was this presence there having a bash at him. Of course, he had to play a lot of crap to do it, so it was best if you didn't listen to him and just tip your hat off like that. Peely's on, well done Peely, but I'm down the pub. That's well done, isn't it, Ted? Thank you for all the Well done, and all the help and love and support. Happy birthday, John, and thank you for all the support over the years. There you go. You certainly kept us going in the Higsons, and it was much appreciated, your early support of the Fast Show. Your late support, where was it? <laughs>